Hey guys, welcome to my 38 week bump date. I am two weeks away from baby's due date and he could come earlier, he could come later. I don't know, but I'm ready to be done. <laughs> this week, baby is the size of a ukulele, a Pomeranian, or a spaghetti squash. So lots of different things. Pomeranians are cute and little, but man, they get too much for me. I could not have a dog like that. <laughs> This week, um, again, not too much going on with Baby. The big thing is he's got a really good grip now, and so when he's born, he'll be able to grip things and have good grip strength. And also, his eye color is finished developing. So most likely, he'll come out with blue eyes, and then either they'll stay blue like Grayson's did, or they might turn um, brown and be like my eyes. So we'll see what this baby is looking like. Um, Grayson came out with really dark hair, which I was surprised. I thought he would come out blonde. So it'll be interesting to see what this baby's hair color looks like since I have dark hair and Anthony has blonde hair. So we will see. Like I said earlier, I am just done <laughs> with this pregnancy. Um, you know, towards the end, it just gets to be a lot of pain and uncomfortableness and you just want it to be over and that's kind of where I am right now. Um, it's really hard for me to sit for a long time unless I'm like leaning back or I have support behind my back. I've not had to- Hi YouTube. <laughs> Sorry that was Anthony. <laughs> he is working from home uh, basically from now until the baby comes just because we want to minimize the exposure or the risk of exposure to um, COVID-19. There have been cases here and there like there would be in any workplace and so we just don't want Anthony to have any reason that he would not be allowed in the hospital and of course we don't want me to test positive. So he is working from home for the near future and I love having him home. It's really nice to just have him near. Anyway, back to me. Um, so like I was saying earlier, my back really hasn't been hurting too bad. It's really just my front. Um, I feel like my belly is pulling low and it's constantly pulling low, of course. It's not like baby's like fluctuating. He's really low and he's been low for several weeks. And so it's either like my skin stretching that's hurting or like the muscles inside are hurting from being stretched. I don't know what it is, but I constantly have pain um, under my ribs, um, especially on the left side area like I've always had or just like at the top of my stomach, like just constant. I wear the back brace, the belly brace um, almost every day now and it really doesn't do that much. Sometimes it helps um, my back if I do have back pain here and there, but really it's just been the front that's been hurting. I've been having more heartburn this week. Sometimes I can ignore it, sometimes I can't. Yeah, I mean, there's really not much to say about it. It's just heartburn just comes with pregnancy. You just have to deal with it. I'm still shedding a ton of hair like crazy. I'm not sure if that's related to pregnancy or not. I have not been sleeping too well lately. Um, there have been a couple of nights this week where I have been able to only wake up once to pee and I've slept through the night the rest of the time. So that's really good. I've been having kind of crazy dreams. Um, last night I had a dream that like I gave birth but it was like through a c-section or something. I don't know. My dreams are always very like random and out there. But I'm definitely thinking about the birth a lot more. I'm nervous, but I'm excited to meet baby, of course. I um, weighed myself and I'm actually only weighing 26 pounds right now. I feel like I was closer to 30 pounds like a week ago, and so I'm not sure. I have been eating less, I've noticed, just because like I don't really get hungry very often just because I feel like my stomach is so squished and when I do eat, I get full very fast. So I have been noticing that, however, I do still eat a lot of sweets. I go to like Dairy Queen or Chick-fil-A for their milkshakes at least once a week, so I'm still eating 
you know, desserts and things to put pack on the pounds, but yeah, I was surprised, um, only 26 pounds, I'm 148 right now, so I have yet to hit 150, although if you ask me at my doctor's appointment when I'm wearing clothes and shoes and whatever, then I am over 150, but without clothes and anything else on, I am 148, so I'm actually feeling really good about my weight. It's really hard for me to get down on the ground with Grayson. It's really hard for me to stand up. <laughs> After uh, playing with Grayson, I moan a lot, uh, make a lot of noises. He's always worried, like, what's wrong? Are you okay? And I'm like, it's just taking a lot for me to get up and down. <laughs> yeah, that's a struggle, but it's an expected struggle. I had my 38-week doctor's appointment this week, so I will tell you about that. It was a very quick appointment, so I don't have much to say. I went, they took my temperature, again they didn't tell me what my temperature was, but they didn't kick me out, so I was in the clear. Um, I left a urine sample, they took my weight, and I was uh, 151 there, but I just told you guys I just weighed myself yesterday, and I'm at 148 with um, 26 pounds gained. So they're happy with my weight gain. Um, they took my blood pressure, which I'm always nervous about my blood pressure, I just don't want it to be high. I had um, driven through a really bad rainstorm on my way there and I was like running through the rain into the office and so I was worried that my heart rate was going to be elevated because of all that but actually I had another awesome blood pressure reading. It was like 110 over 67 or 76, I can't remember, but it was awesome. It was great. So I'm feeling awesome about that. They're very happy with that. Um, they took me to my room and told me to get undressed, however I did not get undressed because my doctor had told me uh, last week that I, there was no point, unless I was feeling a lot of like crampiness and contractions then she would check me, but otherwise there seemed to be no point. And I agree, I don't feel like you need to be checked every week. Some people like it just to know, but it's uncomfortable and um, it doesn't really tell you that much. Um, and it, it, there's always the possibility to expose bacteria like up there, so I was happy to forgo it. So I waited, my doctor came in, she um, asked me how I was doing, uh, if I had any new symptoms. She agreed that we didn't need to do a cervix check, however she wants to do one next week, which I agree. Uh, we measured the belly and she said I'm still measuring on track, which is good. We found the heartbeat, it was like 156, 157, so great heartbeat. She said he's still like very low, which I'm like, yeah, I know. <laughs> um, side note, I have been getting so many pains from him because he is so low into my cervix. I feel like every time he moves, it's like these sharp jabs to my, um, to my cervix and it hurts so bad. He has been really active, especially in the early mornings or in the evenings. He hiccups a ton, constant hiccups, and he's always moving. Anthony feels him all the time. Um, Anthony was actually giving me a hug the other day and he could feel him hiccuping, which I was surprised he could even feel that, so. He is very active in there. Back to the appointment. Basically what my doctor and I talked about was that next week will kind of be like a big appointment in terms of how we move forward. So um, obviously like I said before, we're going to check my cervix next week. If I am not dilated at all or barely dilated, then we'll probably schedule one more appointment for 40 weeks. Um, but if I'm like dilated a good amount and maybe like a three or four, then we could schedule um, for me to be induced around when I, around like my due date and things like that. So it's super exciting, like obviously we're at the end, so this was going to happen sooner or later. My first pregnancy, I was very intent on wanting to go myself, go naturally and not be induced. But after my experience last pregnancy, I actually loved my induction. I know a lot of people have bad experiences um, with inductions, but mine was awesome and I liked being in control, knowing what day was going to happen, being able to prepare for it, and being in the hospital and getting the epidural as soon as I felt contractions. 
So I would totally be fine with having another induction. My whole thing is I just don't want to force this baby out if my body and he is not ready to come out. Because I feel like that's where a lot of inductions go wrong is they induce and the body isn't even dilated at all or barely dilated and so it takes a lot longer and it's a lot more painful and there's a lot more complications that come from it. And so if I'm able to wait and be more dilated, then that's what I'm gonna do. So we will see next week if I'm dilated at all. I could see me still being zero and not being dilated at all. And we'll have to do a 40 week appointment and probably have to be induced at 41 weeks like Grayson was. I'm kind of thinking about dates now, like when would I want to have this baby? And there's like a chunk of dates that I don't want to have him on. And I don't know if that's me being like picky or silly, but I don't want to have him on September 9th. That is my due date. I would rather not have him on that date because um, my brother's fiance, her birthday is that day. So I'd rather just not have him on her day. Um, the 10th is Anthony's dad's birthday, so again, would rather not. The 11th is 9-11. I don't know if I'm being, again, silly or picky or whatever, but I would rather not have my... Hey, sorry guys, my um, camera died, so I'm charging it right now and I'm in my living room, so sorry about that, but I just wanted to get this video finished. So, like I was saying, I'd rather not have him on 9-11 because it's a very somber day and I don't know, I would just feel weird about it. So I would like to avoid that day if possible. I think the 11th is on a Saturday and the 12th is on a Sunday. So the 13th is a Monday. So starting on Monday, I would be fine with being due. So I can have him on the 13th, 14th, 15th, whatever. 16th would be um 41 weeks i believe i don't know if i'll be able to choose um if i am induced but we will see i made an appointment for next week and we will see how i am coming along and if we are going to make another doctor's appointment or if we're going to induce so stay tuned for that next video because you're going to want to know what happens. I want to know what happens. <laughs> Let me show you my belly. Okay, so here's my belly. Hopefully I'm not too far away for you guys to see. Um, I'm not really wearing a maternity shirt. It's a regular shirt, but it's stretchy. <laughs> but it's kind of tight. I am not fitting into like anything. Even Anthony shirts are becoming really tight on me now, so it's just... A struggle. Another thing I'm tired of doing is wearing like the same five shirts over and over again. But yes, this is my belly at 38 weeks. An extra thing, I did ask my doctor if I was going to be tested for COVID-19. Um, we had never discussed this before and so I wasn't sure what policies were. They, I feel like they change all the time. She said that I will have to get tested for COVID-19. He said if we decide to induce, then I can get it on my own and just go through like a drive through location. And that one is just like a mouth swab, I guess, which I didn't even know that existed. She said if I go into labor on my own and I just show up randomly at the hospital, then they will do a rapid test there. And unfortunately, that one is the no swab. So another reason to hope for an induction. <laughs> she did tell me that Anthony will not have to get tested. I swear, I have to do everything. I have to give birth, I have to get tested. Anthony just sits there. Um, basically that reasoning is if you're positive, then he'll be positive. And if you're negative, then most likely he's negative since we're around each other. We live together, he's working from home. I'm not worried about testing positive. We don't go anywhere anymore. Groceries we do, we still do pick up at Kroger. Um, Anthony's working from home, I don't work. The only time I leave the house is to take Grace into the park or to pick up groceries. That's really it. So I am, or doctor's appointment. So I'm not worried at all about testing positive. I think it'll be fine. And my doctor said that the hospital is actually really good at once you get that negative result, then they don't really make you wear masks like at all, which why would they? I mean, if they know you're negative, there's no reason for you to wear a mask. So I'm happy about that. I really would like to avoid wearing a mask if I can. I just think labor is hard enough. 
I don't want to add a mask on top of that. <laughs> I have been feeling more Braxton Hicks here and there. Last week I barely had any at all and this week they've picked up a little bit more. Um, I've been feeling crampy. Usually it's just like in the evening or in the middle of the night that I feel cramps. Um, but again, nothing that I can like time or anything. So not sure if that's just my uterus stretching or if it's just part of Braxton Hicks. But I am feeling that here and there. I think that's kind of it for this week. Sorry if this is kind of a long vlog and sorry I had to cut it in the middle and now I'm here in my living room, but you do what you can. So stay tuned for next week's video. We will find out what my fate is. <laughs> and um, leave a comment down below. Give this video a thumbs up and I will see you guys next time. Bye.